Hey, did you know that you can declare a function multiple times but with different outputs? That's a technique called function overloads and I will show you how it works. To see the benefits of function overloads, we have to understand the problem that this technique is solving. And for this purpose, I created the sum function and the sum function can accept an A and an B and uh, both of these parameters can be of type number or string. If a and b are numbers, then we simply return a plus b, which is also a number. But if they aren't numbers, then we do this operation here. We return a template string that then passes those numbers and returns the string or number. So in the end, we will have this signature here in the function which says that the return value can be of type string or number, depending on the case. This means when we input numbers, we will also get back a number and if we input strings, we'll get back the sum as a string. Let's verify this assumption. So when we execute the main TS file, we will then actually see that in the first case, it's indeed a number and in the second, the return value is of type string. Let's have a look again at the function signature. Oh, I need to be slow with the mouse. So here in the function signature, we will see that the return type can be string or number. Yeah, depending on the inputs, we get a different output. And this is a problem because when we hover now over the sum as number constant here, we will also see that the assignment says that it will be string or number. And for the sum as string constant, we will also see that uh, TypeScript infers a string or a number because of the sum function's return type. To get a definite return type, we can declare another function signature. In this case, I will just declare one where we only have numbers. So the inputs will be of type number. And I will define that also the output is then of type number. I will close then that signature with a semicolon. So no function body here. And as you can see now, TypeScript can infer the return type to a number. So if we input numbers, we will also get back a number thanks to that additional signature. Let's take the second step now because we also want to support strings and we see that strings are not supported right now because uh, when we input them, there is no signature that defines um, the return type for the strings. So we need another function overload in this case one for strings. So A will be of type string and B will also be of type string. And when this is the case, we will return strings. Now this matches also the case that we have here in line number 12 and TypeScript can infer now a string return type. At this point, I want to highlight that the actual function implementation needs to meet the requirements of all the signatures. So if we want to support numbers or strings, or in this case end strings, we need to also make sure that the function implementation, the function body can return number and string types. I just removed the else clause, so TypeScript gets mad with us because we are not providing strings anymore. So I have to bring it back. And this is a good reminder to always create an implementation that matches all your function overloads. Same applies for the parameters. If we remove one of the parameter types here from the function implementation, then our overload signature is not matched anymore. So please keep in mind to always implement a function that then matches all your overload signatures. And it has to match all your signatures at once.